the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. There is an appointed time for everything, and a time for every affair under the heavens. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to uproot the plant. A time to kill, and a time to heal. A time to tear down, and a time to build up. A time to weep, and a time to laugh. A time to mourn, and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones, and a time to gather them. A time to embrace, and a time to be far from embraces. A time to seek, and a time to loose. A time to keep, and a time to cast away. A time to rend, and a time to sow. A time to be silent, and a time to speak. A time to love, and a time to hate. A time, to, a time of war, and a time of peace. What advantage has the worker from their toil? I have considered the task which God has appointed for us to be busied about. And God has made everything appropriate to its time. He has put timelessness into our hearts without our ever discovering from beginning to end the work which God has done. Furthermore, I recognize that there is nothing better than to be joyful and live well during one's life. For everyone, moreover, ought to eat and drink and enjoy the fruits of their labor. It is a gift of God. I recognize that whatever God does will endure forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into love. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into love. A reading from the book of Revelation. I heard a voice from heaven say, Write this from this day forward. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Yes, said the Spirit, let them find rest from their labors, for their works accompany them. The word of the Lord. Be to God. And the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where am I going? <clears throat> where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? And Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father. 
where he intercedes for his holy people, confident that God hears the voice of those who trust in the Lord Jesus. We join now in our prayers to his. In the baptism of pearl, receive the light of Christ. Scatter darkness now and lead him, lead her over the waters of death. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. Your daughter, daughter Pearl was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome her into the halls of the heavenly banquet. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them the everlasting home with your son. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. Many people die by violence, war, and famine each day. Show your mercy to those who suffer so unjustly these sins against your love, and gather them into the eternal kingdom of peace. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. Those who trusted the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all whose faith is known to you alone. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. For the mourners, the family and friends of Pearl, seek comfort and consolation, heal their pain and dispel their darkness and doubts that come from their grief. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for our sister Pearl. Strengthen our hopes so that we may live in the expectation of your son's coming. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord our God, give peace and healing to your people. Hear the prayers of the Redeemer, Lord Jesus, and the voices of this family gathered together this day. For we stand here, lives purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive our sins and the sins of all who sleep in the Lord, and grant us all a place in your heavenly kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. On behalf of our dad, Jean and Nancy, we would like to share with you some of the mementos that we've pulled together that signify mom's life that father so gloriously refers to. Uh, Nancy and Dennis will be bring, bringing down the gifts for the altar. And um, then the uh, grandchildren will be bringing a quilt, it's a green quilt, that was given to mom and dad on their 35th anniversary. We made it to commemorate their uh, move from Oakland to Tahoe, 1974, we gave it to them. Uh, there is, a, and Anna's carrying that, and they're going to be placed on this chair here. The um, Trish is bringing down a, a saying that had been uh, prepared for mom that says music is the universal language of mankind. You know that music was so very important for my mother's childhood, her family, our family, and so one of the other mementos is the music book that mom played from for the last couple of years. It had familiar songs and simple songs after she was unable to play the more complicated pieces on the organ that she had worked so hard taking lessons to play. So these songs we played for hours, sometimes together, sometimes she would just sit down and play when she couldn't think of something else to do. There is a rose that shows her love of flowers and love, it's red for love. There's a something about food up here too, an Abel Skeever pan. Now that Scandinavian pancake was great for our Italian mother. Uh, grandkids always said, oh, we're going to have Abel Skeevers, let's go over to Grandma's. Sometimes we had to come all the way from the Bay Area to do it, but it was great. Mom loved games, so there's a ping pong paddle and a ping pong ball. You know, I could, I imagine if I asked you to raise hands, 
there would be a lot of people that lost ping pong games to my mom. She was a good player. There's a, a small sculpture of a bird. She loved nature and animals and the bird and um, she always fed the birds. Dad asked her to stop because the birds didn't know that they were supposed to eat the seeds and they ate his figs. Um, and the black purse that she carried this last three or four years. She always needed that black purse that was part of her and we brought it here to be with you. Thank you. The only man of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to the sun. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. was a most wonderful aunt. As a child, I was a flower girl in her wedding, <clears throat> and in her wedding party in Oakland, California. I was, uh, it, that was so long ago, I barely remember. <laughs> but uh, I do remember going to my Grandma Delicia's house, and Pearl, Aunt Pearl and Uncle Frank would come over, and uh, to visit and she was always so nice and loving to me. Um, I was a very shy child but she would always sit and talk to me. I always remember as kids playing uh, at grandma's under the table and uh, the adults were still having dessert and everything but we were, we were playing under there and uh, it was fun. Uh, a fun place to play at that time. Um, most of the time the children would eat in the kitchen, at the kitchen table and uh, it was nice to be uh, together with the wonderful delicious family. There is a special hymn that I like, Be Still My Soul, The Hour Is Hastening On, When We Shall Be Forever With The Lord. When disappointment, grief, and fear are gone, sorrow forgot, love's pure joys restored, be still my soul. When change and tears are past, all safe and blessed, we shall meet at last. This hymn gives me comfort. I will always be thankful for my Aunt Pearl, and I say this in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Dear Grandma Pearl, on this day that remembers your rich life, we would like to thank you. Our lives are filled with music, art, travel, the love of nature. We know these things come from you, passed down like heirlooms from your parents. Thank you for your commitment to education. You were, you were a great role model and you helped us to see that educating ourselves would help us appreciate what the world could offer us. <clears throat> Most of all, thank you for showing us every day what it means to be a strong family. Your dedication to your husband and family serves as a constant inspiration for us. You and Grandpa have taught us that above everything, family is the greatest love and achievement we can strive for. In everything we try to do, we see your influence and love. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. My name is Clyde Souza. I am the youngest of the Souza family out of uh, nine children. A pearl was, uh, 
I should say Pearl Delucius's, uh, was a fantastic, I'm just going to talk about uh, her as a mother. As a mother, she was fantastic. I used to babysit over there, and uh, she was like my second mother. Some of the things she used to say, I remember when, since I uh, came from a family with uh, seven, I mean six boys, and I was the baby. Well, I used to treat the girls like they were boys, because I used to get picked on. So, so they might have thought I was a bully, it probably was. But uh, Pearl told me one time that I had to be gentle with the girls because she was trying to raise them into being young ladies. Now, on a, you know, on a scale of one to 10, when it came to motherhood, Pearl had some kind of a softness to her, soft-spoken. So uh, she made you think, and uh, out of that scale, if 10 was the highest, I would say Pearl was 12. In a lot of the ways, I'm a layman when it comes to religion. So I would like to ask you that you honor It'd be an honor, and, be, and I would be very proud if you pray for Pearl in any way you want to. And I will be praying for you. I mean praying for you and Pearl. And I think praise, uh, prayers are like, uh, they're like spiritual telegrams. And uh, God is knowing, and so is Jesus. But it's just a reminder, there's people down here on earth that are still alive and still have a love for that beautiful woman. So the more that we pray for her, the more I think that Jesus will understand that uh, Pearl had a lot of the similarities that uh, his own holy mother had, which is our holy mother. So I want to thank you all, and God bless, and do me a favor and pray. Thank you. I appreciate so much Father Bosk's comments about Pearl being a gift to Frank. A pearl is a gift, and she truly was and is a pearl and a gift. She was a gift to her parents, to her, to her brothers, to Frank, to her daughters and grandchildren, to all of us who knew her. I've known Pearl Sousa, I guess, for about 40 or 41 years. As a, a relative of sorts, I just would like to share with you about that. She was, as has been mentioned, a Delucia. She's the last of her siblings, the last of a generation of a great, great generation of a great family. Truly great American family. Second generation American. Her parents came here from the old country. It's so different from my family. It was different for me to go for the first time and in numerous times to the family dinners with the Delucias and the Sousas. I come from uh, English, Welsh, Scotch ancestry in America. And a very, uh, our family dinners would be very uh, quiet and uh, serene or whatever. And coming to this beautiful Italian family dinner where there was a vigor and verve and expression and delicious food 
was a new and a wonderful experience for me. Now, I must tell you that my wife was taken in by this family, the Delucia family, uh, by Pearl's brother and his wife and uh, sisters and brothers as a young teenager. And the reason I mention that is she was accepted by Pearl as her own niece and by the whole family in the same way, by Frank and my everyone, without ever any hesitation. And so have I been. I, uh, I think today that if every girl, every mother, every woman was a pearl like Pearl, what a different world it would be. In conclusion, as I thought of this, I thought of St. Augustine and the influence of his mother on him. His mother was Monica and he had a great influence in the world and changed much of uh, Christian history really, had a great influence upon it. And admittedly, that inspiration for this great intellect was from his mother, Monica. She died in 385, and this young man who'd been very wayward was converted shortly before, and he was devastated by the death of his mother. He didn't know where to turn. He couldn't sleep at night. He said that when he bathed afterwards, it's as if he had not taken a bath. He was so pained and so hurt at the loss of his mother. And finally, one morning he awakened and in his heart flowed a verse from Bishop Ambrose. And I'd like to read that to you very brief. Maker of all, the Lord and ruler of the height, who robing day and light has poured soft slumbers over the night, that to our limbs the power of toil may be renewed, and hearts be raised that sink and cower, and sorrows be subdued. Meditating on that, his life changed again. He gained the spiritual and emotional power to go on, and to go on in the great influence and effect that he would have on world history. May you daughters, grandchildren, family, and all of us be so influenced by this pearl that we may be greater, that we may be magnified, that we may be strengthened, and help all those around us. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.